Although President Biden is set to release a more detailed second infrastructure bill next week, with a focus on the human infrastructure of child care and education, attention is already on the pay force, which in this particular bill includes significantly higher taxes on wealthy households. So what does this mean and what should you do? Let's break it down. First, don't panic. We live by the mantra, prepare, don't predict. We can't predict what the final proposal will look like in terms of taxes, but we expect that the initial 39.6% capital gains tax, an effective doubling of the current rate, represents a first bid, and the final proposal will fall short of that rate. Now that said, there is broad democratic support for an increase in taxes on wealthy households, so it makes sense to prepare for a higher tax regime. So second, how should you prepare? With a final proposal unknown, but the timing likely to be in the latter part of this calendar year, it makes sense to take a look at your investment portfolio today. Where are you overweighted, either a concentrated position or simply overweighted to risk assets given the strong markets we've experienced? Where do you need liquidity to meet goal funding over the next few years? In those cases, don't wait, and it makes sense to rebalance and pay what will likely be a lower capital gains tax. Now, could any tax change be made retroactive? The answer is it's possible, not probable. Even under the worst case scenario, though, that the tax is made retroactive, you're no worse off making that decision today, and you could be significantly better off from an after-tax perspective. So third, are there any other actions that make sense? Look at your mix of taxable and tax-deferred accounts. There may be some opportunities to consider asset location strategies, which will enable deferral in assets expected to generate strong capital gains over time. The compounded impact of deferring the potentially higher tax is meaningful. Next, the new tax rates apply to households earning over a million dollars. If there's any flexibility in the timing of your income, that would be advisable as well. Next, think carefully about your charitable intentions. Funding charitable gifts with low basis assets makes even more sense in a higher rate environment. And if you're not quite sure as to the immediate timing of your intentions, talk to your financial advisor about a donor advised fund. So fourth and last, a significantly higher tax regime will certainly take a bite out of after-tax returns and taxable accounts. Take a look at your investment plan and ensure that you're set to meet your financial goals over time with lower after-tax returns. Think carefully about investment strategies that generate high turnover or have high fees. It's all about triple net return, after inflation, after fee, and after tax, because that is how we fund goals over time, with triple net dollars.